everybody. I'm going to do my review of the Frontier Sawmill that I purchased about eight months ago or so. I've only really ran it once because I've been busy doing other stuff, but I find it to be a pretty, pretty good machine. It does well, it's built well, cuts some wood, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, the instruction booklet had very good pictures. Some of the, some stuff didn't match up. Some bolt packets were labeled differently, but they have three different sawmills that they're working with and, you know, the Norwood saw as well. So, um, they, they just kind of mixed a couple things in there that I don't think they needed to. Some stuff was a little, a little unclear. You just really have to take your time, read through the whole thing double check, you know, make sure your bolts are going to work out, check your next step, go back, just take your time with it, get to know the machine while you're putting it together. Um, this thing really, so far I, I see a lot of potential in building stuff for this thing. I, I spent a lot of money doing a deck this summer. Um, I have plans to do a cabana for that pool house, for that pool deck I mean. Um, I also need to build a house for this machine, which is going to be the, probably the second project. I have a chicken coop to build for my wife, which is going to be my first. I have some pine on here that I'm going to do a video of sawing. It's going to be my first actual trying to make lumber to build something with. The first log I did was a maple and it was very big. And <laughs> I had a hard time with it on the saw. There is a short video of that on there. Um, that thing was just a beast. And I probably should have started smaller, but whatever. <clears throat> oh, my phone's not working. I have pictures of it. I'm trying to get them onto the channel. It's a work in progress. I'm new at this stuff. I'm kind of bored, so I'm going to throw some stuff out there and see what happens with it. <clears throat> it runs well. It, it really is. It's uh. Kind of ran out of stuff to say for a second. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about now. Yep. Brain went dead. I'll have to resume this. <clears throat> So my first video was missing lubrication. Now I'll be able to free up some of my words with my hands. The, the biggest reason why I bought this mill was because of the shipping time. Um, I was leaving my job and freed myself up to do some stuff. A lot of the other mills, because of COVID, everything was stretched out. So I just, I kind of picked this one, it looked good, but I did really do a lot of, a lot of research. I watched a lot of videos of people online, which is so great. It's so fun to watch people. People, just different attitudes about it, and it's great seeing some of them cut through stuff, and they're, they're just excited about it, and I'm excited about it too. I, I can't wait to get into more. Um, a little bit of the cost came into it. They're all pretty similar. This was a little bit lower, but like I said, I was leaving my job, so I went with low cost, as low as I could. Um, maybe I'll get into the job thing a different time, but this is much better for me here. Um, assembly of this was, was pretty easy. Like I said before, previously, the, the book was a little, you gotta go back and forth and check everything. They got a lot of pictures check with people online there's a lot of assembly videos kind of wish I would have done one now I actually do have to take it apart and reassemble it maybe I'll do one then once I build the house for it <clears throat> as you can tell this is working um the, the thing that I did was I first built it right on my floor in my garage got it all together took an hour and a half two hours getting this thing leveled perfect got the lock stops in there and realized that I needed the bed to be like four inches higher. So I used some jacks and stuff. I left it together, 
raised it this way and that way and got some 4 by 4s under it, a little frame. I'll do a little walk around in a moment. But it, take your time, like I said, with the, the assembly. Make sure everything's good and level. It, make sure your bed runs nice and smooth. It, it, it took a little bit of time. I was also doing this by myself. I, I, did, I did not have any help. I used a tractor to lift this onto the tracks after I had it built. I built this at a different time I built this. I, I took my time with it. It really was step by step a, a cool process to go through and build. But uh, let me give you a little walk around and show you how I have it set up. Um, like I said, watch your bed height because the log stops. That's, like, that's what I, my biggest mistake was. And I bought a couple of log dogs, extra log dogs and a log clamp. But <clears throat> or a cam dog but hopefully it won't make you too dizzy here <clears throat> alright this thing is uh, like I said it's out of the way here sitting on 4x4's on my garage floor it's not really a permanent location for it but it works for now and this here is a piece of pine I have on here for a chicken coop Um, one of the things I did not like about this is that you have your log bunks and you know at the end here you put on a, you can put on an extension which I did buy an extension which is over there in the box on the floor that'll be later on in life but the one that I don't like is the very end the bunk is back there you can't use it for nothing it's I know it supports the tracks together. They could have used a piece of steel there, not that, um, and save the bunk for a different spot, maybe spaced it a little bit closer for people that are going to do shorter logs. You could have put it in between these first two, something like that. You know, I might modify. I'm going to modify this bunk back here eventually so that it's just a piece of steel in between there because it's not doing nothing. And then I'm probably going to move that one to a different spot like in between these first two so that I can do short stuff when people want cool little shelves stuff like that <clears throat> oh I have to hit the pause button son of a bitch <clears throat> 